from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Bring the scene a few moments ago. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line with the Denver Broncos. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And that'll set him back five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Mahomes to throw on second down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's holding in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Watkins, the intended receiver, and now it's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Caught out left side by Robinson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Now it's Mahomes again. This will be caught just inside the 10. 
And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up golden opportunity. Strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the... And that is caught by Watkins for a Chief touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Now this defense very accustomed to trying to stop Melvin Gordon. It's the same division, the AFC West, but a different uniform for Gordon, spending five years with the Chargers before joining these Broncos in the offseason. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. Number 30, Philip Lindsay. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Lock going to throw. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Broncos' new signee for 2020, Sam Martin, former Lion, on to punt. Miko Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm glad I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And that'll bring up second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. A big play there, Mahomes to Watkins. 42 yards. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. 
And they run the option here on first and 10. And he gets it down to the 32. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 32-yard line. Now it's second and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 18. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. But it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. To try again after the sack. Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And Robinson with a big catch. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Well, they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Now here's Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Good work by that Bronco defense, and it leads to a fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. A 31-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And that will make it 10-0 here in the first. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, probably that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? taken about a yard deep and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line so now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos and a three and out on that first drive we'll see if they can do better here they should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now that first series everybody goes out a little extra emotion 
So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. So Blitz coming and down he goes. The big money man, Chris Jones, getting in there to bring him to the ground. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And that's going to be incomplete. Philip Lindsay, the intended target, third down here. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. On third and long, it's Locke. He'll go up top. He's got a man complete. And all the way home for a Bronco score. K.J. Hamler, KJ Hamler 75 yards, and the Broncos have cut it to within a score. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football Brandon cleats McMahon. or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play, and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. KC's offense ready to take over. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And incomplete, an excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. And that may have been incomplete, but he reminds me so much of when my dad used to take me to the baseball stadium and watch the home run hitters in batting practice. I'll get to the stadium early just to watch this kid throw it. He can throw it out of the stadium. Mahomes will try again on second down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes it, the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings. For some reason, it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 
100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And again, it's Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 43 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. And he'll bang that one through. Good. Makes the score Chiefs 17, Broncos 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Set to take over, the Broncos offense trots back out. They find themselves down 17 to seven as they start this drive first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Lindsey, the ball carrier. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. We know Melvin Gordon is very effective getting to the perimeter, but being a former University of Wisconsin Badger means you know how to run the ball inside and with power as well. I also like the fact that he's a weapon in the passing game. Had as many as 58 catches in a season. Throw it to him in space and look out. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. No game. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. And that is incomplete here. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Incomplete. It's third down and 10 yards to go. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. Block working out of the gun. He dumps it underneath here to Lindsey. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist to the referee. And that means fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, 
Did the defense almost relax and said, we got this covered, and then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. They're going to run. This is Gordon. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Melvin Gordon unable to push his way forward. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 right at the 30. He'll throw from the gun. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned into six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Here's Locke. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Had to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly. Got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again. Lock. Screen pass to Lindsey. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. The Broncos on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I know people see Philip Lindsey's role in Denver changing a bit with the arrival of Melvin Gordon. But I think Gordon's going to be more of an enhancement for Lindsey. Maybe he won't carry it as often. 
but now he'll be much more effective as a two-headed monster in the backfield. Both of them can run it inside, get to the perimeter, and catch the ball out of the backfield and move the sticks. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Melvin, give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Lock going to hand it off here to Gordon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. In the offseason, Melvin Gordon made the move over from the Los Angeles Chargers to the Denver Broncos. He stayed in the AFC West, and now he has a mission to get back to being mentioned as one of the top backs in the league with a young quarterback, Drew Locke, there, expecting to catch a ton of passes out of the backfield and use his ability in open space to make people miss. Lock throwing complete here to Judy. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now Gordon on first down. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos cut into that lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. And now here comes Kansas City. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football the way he sees it. I he wants it. a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up-and-down-the-field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, here's the option. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. 
Now Mahomes. He's going to air one out. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. The Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and 11. Mahomes now to throw. A screen to Bell. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Denver has Deontay Spencer deep to return. Oh, what a move. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Denver's offense ready to go again. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor, and they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all as we will make our way to the two-minute warning. Now on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Locke. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. It's now fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, leverage. The big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. We'll watch that leverage on this drive. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes looking for Hill again. This time it's complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there, picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Mahomes firing complete. Seven yards to pick up there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Oh, 
second down and three. Mike's for two, Mike's for two. Now it's Mahomes again. Throwing right, and that's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 27-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The escape ability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes, eluding the pressure right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Gordon. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But these guys getting chopped into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. On second and 12. Lock, he's got his big tight end, Fan, And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. On first down, it's Gordon. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. 
Shotgun snap to lock. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for the rookie Jerry Judy there. But now it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. From the gun, lock. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. So on fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and the field goal unit for the Broncos. This from 54 yards away. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking to hit his running back, Le'Veon Bell, that time. And it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. This will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. 
On second and 11 now. Lock. He'll get this one to Patrick. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun. Lock. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run on first down. Gordon. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Locke finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards, and the sticks move. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Fakes the give to Gordon. Now here's Locke to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Another try after the first down sack. Lock. He'll find Lindsey here. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third and long, it's Lock. This is the tight end fan. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And they'll run the end around here with Judy. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, and some nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call it just about what you want. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. 
On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos draw a bit closer. And Charles, the second time today that he has Brandon hit pay dirt. And once you score the first one, there is that natural tendency, and there's also that, that eagerness to get back there again. Oh, he smells it. This guy smelled the end zone, and twice he's gotten there. McManus's point after is good, and the lead will shrink to six. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great as you pointed out, not in this case. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. It was Duke Dawson on the tackle, the second-round pick in 2018. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Throwing on second and eight. Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. But so often now we're praising tight ends for their nimbleness and how they catch the ball downfield. But occasionally we get a reminder that tight ends, they've got that tough guy aspect too. How about him catching that short one there, shaking off tacklers and turning that into an expansive gain downfield. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And now he's closing in on 450 yards passing. That's an incredible number. I mean, you're talking about the best defenders in the world that you're trying to throw the ball against, and you're creating that type of a number. Fantastic job, fantastic performance. He's going to have to ice up his arm afterwards, too. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And again, it's Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes with a touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. And here's Edwards and Lair. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he will get into the end 
zone to extend the lead by two more. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing on first down is Locke. Open man Hamler, that's complete. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. To throw again on second down. Lock. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Intercepted. The Chiefs take over first and 10. At the so after the INT, here's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Mahomes again here on second and 10. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They go play action here on first down. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Clyde Edwards Alaire there to make the grab. And thanks to the interception, the Chiefs offense cashes in with six. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. They're no going for two. They'll kick the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Makes the score Chiefs 42, Broncos 21.
kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Three yards the gain there, second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Block working out of the gun. This is Hamler on the receiving end. That catch good for five. It's third down. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Locked to throw on third and one. Throw left side complete. It's Lindsey. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Right back to Judy, and it's complete. complete Fired that Judy. one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Locke looks to throw it again. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. The second-year man locked to the rookie Judy for a Bronco first. down lock he's gonna hit his man out of the backfield complete the completion but they go in the wrong direction a loss of yards and now they're dealing with a second and long well I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football don't drop it but drop it there yeah in that situation <laughs> dropping it would have been better end up losing yardage even though they completed the pass as good as a sack yeah how about that although they won't get the same credit for it and it won't help him at contract time. 
Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. But they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Throwing on third and long. Block, and that is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be incomplete. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down in this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? Might get radio silence back. <laughs> A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. Not in any rush offensively. Seven yards there and a first down. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On second and 11 now. Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Forty-seven is the mic. Forty-seven is the mic. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Edwards Alaire. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. They're bringing us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can—you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out up. of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Locke. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Lock. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy, and it's third down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Lock going to try and throw on third down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. A field goal would tie it, but they want more. They're going for it. Let's go, let's go. 
They'll go for it. It's Locke. And it is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Turnover on down. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he stopped immediately there. Le'Veon Bell. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.